Here's an interesting question on dot product application. We have seen this question in test papers so many times. The vector a and b are unit vectors such that magnitude of a plus b is equal to square root of 5 over 2. Determine the value of 3a minus b dot a plus b. Now, to do these kinds of questions, we should know what is a dot b. So we can we can start from here also and then get to that. So let me show you. If you can straight away start here, you'll write 3a minus b dot of a plus b, right? And when you expand it, you get 3a dot a, which is 3, absolute a squared. And then you have plus 3a dot b, and then you multiply by minus dot product. So minus a dot b can be written as b dot a and a dot b is commutative. So we can write this as a dot b. And here you get minus absolute value of b squared. Now in this equation, you have a dot b in between. How will you find that? So that is the kind of question which you need to answer to continue from here onwards. Correct. You know, a and b are unit vectors, so that's not a problem. You know, you, a and b are unit vectors. You say a has a magnitude of 1, which is equal to magnitude of a, equals to magnitude of b, which is equal to 1. So this is what is given to us. And you also know that a plus b magnitude is 5 over square root 2. That helps to find the angle between the two, right? How? So let's sketch it. Let us say that this is our vector A and this is vector B. Now what happens? If you do A plus B, then I can draw it like this and that becomes parallelogram and this reflects A plus B, right? Now in this, we are given A plus B is equal to square root 5 over 2. This is 1, this is 1, and that is the angle which we need to find in between. But from this triangle, we can find this angle. Let us say this angle is phi. So in that case, use cosine law and find phi. So we get cos of phi equals to a square plus b square, which is 1 square plus 1 square, minus 2 times 1 times 1, times cos of phi, so actually I wrote it in the other way, cos of phi is equals to square of what is given to you, right? So this hypotenuse, which is square of this is 5 over 2, 5 over 2. So you can always rearrange and find the angle phi, right? So we get cos of phi is equals to 1 plus 1 is 2, and then we'll bring this to the right side and this term to the left 2 minus 5 over 2 divided by so when we bring this on the side divided by half right so that becomes cos of 5 so this is equals to 2 times 2 is 4 4 minus 5 is minus 1 so it is minus half times half which is equal to minus 1 over 4, correct? So phi is equal to cos inverse of minus 1 over 4. Let's find it using the calculator. So we got second function, cos inverse within bracket, minus 1 divided by 4, bracket close, equals to 104.47. So this is the angle phi. Now what is the angle between A and B? So between A and B, it is 180 minus phi, correct? So this angle here, which we are interested in, is, so theta is 180 degrees minus 104.47, right? That is equals to 75.52, correct? Now we know theta between, uh, the angle between. Now what is A dot B equals to? So A dot B equals to magnitude of A times magnitude of B times 
cos of theta. Do you see that? That is cos of 75.52. Let us find what is cos of 75.52 equals to. It is 0 0.25. 0 0.25. So that is the value of A dot B. So you have to do all this calculation to get A dot B. Once you get A dot B, then you can substitute your values here and get the answer. So A you know is 1, which is 3 times 1 plus 2 times sorry, 2 times A dot B is 0 0.25, 0 0.25 minus 1. Do you see that? So we substituted this value of A dot B here. Now that gives us our answer, which is 3, and 2 times 0 0.25 is 0 0.5 minus 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2, and that gives us 2.5 as the answer. So this value is a scalar value, it's a dot product, and the answer is 2.5. So that is how this question is to be solved. It's a very interesting question. Go through it once again, see what we have done to find the angle between A and B, and then you know dot product of A and B, and only then you can get your answer. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you, and all the best.